The next presenter is the Dr. David Yu Gyeong Hui. He is the president of Globis Foundation Korea. He is also president of International Boxing Federation and KISA. KISA is a Korean International Student Services Association. Uh, he has been engaged in uh, numerous athletic activities and programs. He sees sportsmanship like a fertilizer or soil for peace initiative. President Yu received the Medal of Merit from the Malaysian Awards Office in recognition of his efforts in the Global Peace Leadership Exchange. He received the honorary doctorate from Jose Rizal Memorial State University of the Philippines in 2012. Uh, please welcome Dr. David Yu. Good morning, everyone. So All Life Village Project is a sustainable community development uh, program. All Life is not a just an aiding uh, project, but a program to build model village embodying the vision of one family under God. By creating a sustainable community development model through uplifting human spirit and dignity, and by applying various appropriate technology, and also focusing on uh, creating better living environments and uh, utilizing eco-friendly energy in order to improve the quality of life. And finally, develop capability of villagers through income generating project along with the character education program. It doesn't work. So as you may know, among 7 billion human beings in the world, 1.9 billion people, around 30% of our whole populations, live without electricity. And uh, 4,000 people every day die. So that means more than 1 million people die because of inhalation of poisonous gas. And 54% of forests in the world has been deforested for domestic fuels. In case of Philippines, 94%. And uh, in Asia and Africa, 50% are cannot read and then cannot write. And lack of this education uh, passed down poverty to their children. So we decided to initiate this project. All Life Village project has four components. First one is technology, second one is education, and third one is self-reliance, and last one is partnership. So All Life Village project initiated uh, in February 2012. So it's just one and a half years, uh, baby, still baby programs. But in five countries, we initiate 17 villages. Now we mainly focusing on uh, Philippines because as I mentioned, now we really want to build a model community first and then we can uh, expand this one to other countries. Okay. So when we say a proper technology, all of these builders projects develop technology applicable to a project site and create better living environments in the village around the world by providing appropriate technology, like a solar power technology, providing solar lantern, solar street lamp, and uh, uh, electricity generator using solar, solar energy, and also a water purifier. So this is solar lantern we are providing. Uh, I, I have a, this sample. I'm sure everyone already see this one. This is a really simple lantern using solar uh, pad, LED, and uh, using the solar uh, beams, we translate, transfer this and, uh, solar beam into uh, electricity. So using this energy for uh, Lantern and also radio. And we're distributing uh, to the villages. Right. 
How come it doesn't work? Okay. If you use this solar lantern uh, for five years, then you can save around one ton of uh, carbon dioxide. <coughs> and a second stage is to provide this solar street lamps. If you wanna, if once you have a brighter house, then second stage is to have a brighter community. So using also solar energy, you, we set up a solar street lamp. Uh, basically, one street lamp for 10 households. So if your village has around 100 households, that means you, you, this village has 10 street lamps. Uh, thanks to this street lamp, people can gather together even at night, and then this can cause a lot of income source. For example, in Kenya, they start night market. So at daytime, you can see a street lamp like this. So you can also recognize the impact of solar street lamp before and after. Now we start to provide electricity using uh, solar, uh, I mean, uh, electric generator using solar energy. So we set up this generator at the All Light Hall in Philippines, and using this Solar generator, we, are, we can operate TV and also DVD and small size of a refrigerator. So we put that pad on the roof and uh, we, we can preserve uh, electricity. So since May 2012, uh, government, local government of Nueva Asia in Philippines, they start to provide electricity uh, to eight uh, village, all its villages out of 13. That means the government, local government, focusing on all its villages to provide electricity. But even governments start to distribute electricity, but uh, due to high cost of electricity usage, they are still need uh, solar lantern, solar street lamp, and generator. So we plan to. Uh, provide more electricity generator next year. And also, they, they drink really uh, contaminated water in Philippines. So we start to also distribute this uh, simple but very effective water purifier using appropriate technology. The first stage is just pebble and sand. The second stage, charcoals, which can, you can acquire very easily at local. But third stage, we, we provide this uh, special uh, clothes coating by uh, some chemicals using uh, nanotechnology, which can protect water from any kind of uh, germs, bacteria. So once you want, want to go through the three stage, then you can have a drinkable water. And beauty of this uh, water purifier is very uh, cheap. This is only uh, cost you around uh, seven or eight dollars. So before they drank this uh, dirty water, but now they can drink this uh, clean water. The second part is education. When you say education, we have three components. Character education, so we uh, develop independence and leadership of the villagers, and also to improve self-esteem. And uh, we provide a lot of character education program uh, by uh, sports. And the second part is literacy education. To to eradicate illiteracy rate. And then last part is technology education. So we provide consultation and transfer agriculture and industrial technology. For example, we're gonna build manufacturing uh, facility in Philippines for manufacture this little lantern within two years. So we transfer this technology into uh, uh, locals. So in order to uh, implement education session, we need place to, uh, to, to teach. So we start to build all large halls. For building all large halls, uh, initially we donated around $3,000 from Korean donors, and villagers donate land to build on. Now we uh, constructed seven uh, all large halls at uh, and at the first stage, we educate uh, staffs and managers at the uh, villages. 
So we really educate them. I mean, we train them. What's the, val what's the purpose of this All Lights Village project and what kind of partnership we, we need to, to make a model community. And we start uh, education. Uh, in winter and summertime, uh, we uh, uh, gather volunteers from college students. And with the help of Filipino students, we have an education session for children in all large villages. Uh, provide ed character education through sports. And uh, with the help of the Department of Education in New Asia, we also provide uh, education session for computer. Since one and a half years of this uh, all large village, uh, 80 86% of villagers understand vision of all these village programs substantially. So people are more inspired to develop the community and live for the sake of others through character education. And 27.5% of the villagers learn culture of sharing and how to socialize. And then 65% of villagers are willing to put their own effort to develop their community and bring the harmony in the village. Using a waste tire, we are making playground for children for education purpose. And also we make garden for a playground using a waste uh, tires. Initially when we proposed this project, uh, actually the uh, village manager the, are kind of against it because they uh, worry about mosquito at the uh, west tire. But once set up this one example, every villagers won this uh, village. Pro I mean this uh, garden project. So uh, this is one of the testimony from uh, uh, children at the uh, village. Uh, her name is Mayo Masco, the second grader, and she said that. Uh, thanks to solar lamps, she can study at night, and then uh, her rank at the school was kind of middle, but now it's top, top three. She, she says she wants to become a doctor, uh, and she really wants to help people as she got help from uh, Olaj village. <coughs> so, if you look at some statistics, you know, for example, Kaiko Rotan uh, Saito, before the Olaj village, the uh, students' national achievement test pass rate was about 67%, but after one and a half years, the, pass, the rate uh, rise up to 82%. So uh, you know, that project impact on uh, people there. Uh, with with uh, Department of Education in Nuevecia, we are providing alternative learning system for children and others who doesn't have elementary school uh, pro, I mean, education. So uh, now almost 50% of adults, they enroll this program. And since we start this program, parents have been motivated to encourage to your, to your children to go to school. And 29% of villagers respond, they send children to school for ed character education. Now you can see the usage of this uh, lantern. At night, they can read a book and they can uh, study. And but many uh, NGOs, they send books, but in, in those kind of uh, villages, the children cannot read the book at night because there's no illustrations, but thanks to these uh, lanterns, they can uh, improve their academic skills. Uh, not only for education, this Olaj Hall also functions as a uh, center for town meetings. The, this center is for villagers, leaders to get together and discuss how to develop their villages. And the second village, we have 13 villages in Nueva Asia, and number two village, they start the community activities centering at Olaj Hall. 
they made the first case of community-driven development by cultivating uh, vegetables in a community uh, lot near Olay's Hall. And uh, at the uh, ninth village, they used this Olay's Hall as a daycare center, and uh, residents can rotate work shift. Before this Olay's Hall, they cannot, uh, they cannot take care of the children at, at daytime, but they use this Olay's Hall as a day center, so they can uh, be more uh, kind of secure. So this is inside of a hall, so children can uh, get together and get uh, education from uh, teachers. So this is a, a feature of the Olaj Hall. And when we build Olaj Hall, the, every villagers you know, get together and build uh, the Olaj Hall together, so even inside. And the third part is income uh, uh, growth project. So once you, you have lights and educations, it's time for you to be self-reliant. So we provide a uh, kind of business model for them to be self-reliant. Uh, so we offer agricultural technology and facility, and also we are support the merchandising network. So in 2014, uh, with Philippine Carabao Center. Carabao means uh, water buffalo, water butterf uh, uh, buffalo. And we already made the MOU to provide one water but female but buffalo to each family in the uh, first village village. At one Carabao, they can produce daily product and also organic fertilizer. So. Uh, if we can, uh, if we uh, provide this one carabao, the income will go more than four times. So this is uh, now what we are doing. Uh, we are help put, help uh, villagers to produce this organic fertilizer using dung of uh, buffalo and also dung of chicken. So this is chicken farms. We are operating now two chicken farms and two goat farms. And we uh, newly started housing project as well. With the help of uh, Habitat Humanity, we uh, started to build houses for uh, villagers, around uh, 120 houses. But this is not for free. As you know, free aiding never helped people in the developing, developing country to overcome the poverty. So even this house is not uh, in a fancy, but still, it's much better than their current house. Uh, so every uh, month they have to pay around 400 uh, pesos, it's about $10 to, uh, to the government. So constru construction time is about six months. So they pay uh, by working hard, uh, w I mean, at the uh, uh, you know, economic model which we provide. So this is groundbreaking ceremony for house uh, with uh, Habitat for Humanity. So lastly, partnership. Even GPF initiated this project, it doesn't mean you know, we are the only solo player. We need a lot of uh, partners to get, to make a really good model for community development. Now in Philippines, we are working with uh, his, his Eminency Cardinal Rosales. He's a uh, patron for this project and also Cardinal uh, Tagle. And uh, we, we are working with the governments uh, of Nueva Ecija. Through all these bills, GPF was accredited as a CSO and NGO and become member of the provi Provincial Development Council of Nueva Ecija. And also, you know, key of this Key of this program is education. So in order to implement this education, we really need help from uh, education department. So we, we made an MOU with uh, Department of Education of Nueva Baixia. And uh, also we made a PPP, PPP uh, uh, contract with Nueva Baixia. This code will provide for efficient partnership between Nueva Baixia and GPF. Uh, 
uh, in the area of funding and counter uh, part partner and the project sustainability. So we can use government's budget for uh, building all ice village in New Asia. And this is the MOU with the Habitat for Humanity. And also in Korea, now many companies, they uh, participate in this project. For example, Korea Security Depository, they already have their own uh, village in New Asia. And Korea Exchange and Expo Bank and KB Bank and uh, many NGOs. And Samsung, uh, they are involving this project in Philippines, Indonesia, and Kenya. And uh, recently, we started a 1% donation campaign. So by 2014, we aim uh, to have 100 companies and 10,000 10, donors involved in this donation campaign. So medium and small size company, they already uh, joined this 1% campaign. 1% 1 campaign means 1% 1 of net profit goes to uh, all Edge Village project to uh, finance this project. Thank you so much. Outside of this hall, there's uh, our booth. So uh, if you visit there, you can have a more concrete idea what all Edge Village is all about. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Yu.